Hands, need a favor. Straight to biz. I like it. Aim me to go to an upcoming shindig at the Black Sapphire. Lusting to dance with the devil? V, the place is inaccessible and treacherous in equal parts. You cannot simply walk in uninvited as opposed to, say, Kanpeki Plaza. Surely there's some way in. <sighs> Very well, I'll be frank. A handwritten invitation, unachievable, but I can work something out. I'll need a favor in return, though. Reputation is a currency. Its value derives from collective faith. It fluctuates. Do you understand me? Yeah, I see what you're driving at. Want me to help you earn a little rep? Precisely. Complete a few gigs for me, give my reputation at Dogtown a shot in the butt cheek. The Black Sapphire plans will be yours. Can't just bribe someone? Money. So pedestrian when you think about it. Reputation, information, favors. These are worth their weight in gold. Heavier even than their owner's hearts. Alas, none remain for purchase of the Black Sapphire. Hansen had all the weak of heart purged using a lighter element. Lead. Think you can make this a quickie? Tight window I'm working with. If you want a smooth deal, the cogs must be greased. Bring me grease, V. All right, Hans. Got yourself a deal. I'm oh so glad. I'll be your saying.
chill. Gun down, let's talk. Here for Anderson. Need him out of here, alive. And I'm here for my brother. Couldn't give a fuck about this quack. You, off your ass! Where's Gaspar? Tell her what you know. Nobody gets hurt. I'm sorry, do you work for me or the scavs? Talk for fuck's sake! Ah, the fuck! You, Merc, help me! Nah, not zeroing anyone just because you don't want to use your words. I can't fucking believe this. Gasper's dead. What? You're lying! He was just a little sick! Your brother was so high out of his mind, it scorched his metabolic editor. The kid was in a coma before he even hit the table. Huh? How'd he die? Morphine injection. His remaining implants were at risk, and I've got patients who need them. To hell, your other patients! You... You fucking murderer! Story all this time. Scare's heads rarely live to a ripe old age. There was nothing I could do. Why delay the inevitable? We'll extract his implants. They'll go to people who still need them. You won't lay a goddamn finger on him. Give me my brother. No! No. What did you say? Fuck! Uh, help! Where's his body? Fuck off, Scav! You need those implants, I get it. Gonna have to find another way. My, how wasteful. Tell Nika where her brother's at, or I donate your chrome myself. Morgue in the storage room. Here's the card. Son of a fucking bitch! You just killed a whole lot of innocent people. Sure you know the feeling. I do. All too well. Which hand holds the scalpel? The other one. At least we dodged that bullet. Let me get this straight. You take in peeps as they come, then decide who's donating? I've yet to write off anyone who could be helped. When your clinic lacks for literally everything, you need to be pragmatic, make tough choices. You know, my gig's got its dark sides too. Can't say I'd want to swap places though. Fortunately, you don't have to. It's enough not to judge me. The patients, what's their status? With Odell out in the street, waiting. Tell them they can come back in. We need to clean up this mess. I feel sorry for the chick. It's got to weigh heavy on Anderson, too. Guy's got questionable ethics, but what's a doctor to do in Dogtown? It was a lose-lose situation from the get-go. Listen, know how you feel. Lost someone like a brother to me too once. Mm. Leave us now, please.
I offered to send a hand to remove all those scavenger remains, but Anderson declined. Something about taking a look at them first. I can only assume he's in shock. The funds are being transferred as we speak. Your job is finished.
Hey, hey. Careful with that. I'm linked to the runner, see? Don't want him to catch a ricochet, huh? Netrunner, blackmailer, murderer. He's my hit. He has some dirt under his nails, yes. But Milko, he's a no one. A small fish in a big pond. I am Agent Alan Noel, Netwatch. Organized crime specialist. I'm sure we can work something out. I met a chum of yours recently. Likewise sniffing around the voodoo boys. Agent Mosley. He speaks highly of you. You came to an understanding with our man back then. Yeah, I thought so too. Till I learned your buddy secretly injected a tracking program in me. Class act. That's why I'm not gonna waste my breath on a corpo this time round. At least let me unplug from Milko. Fine. But so much is a twitch, and you're a flat line. That's better. Now, listen to me. You can't kill Milko. Not yet. Want to stop me? Try. Months I've suffered this place. Hold up with these scabs on society. I aim to expose their web of blackmailers and murderers like Milko. But to do that, I have to find out who's pulling the strings first. Well, got fingers crossed for you. But don't count on my help. Safety of my client's my only priority. This client of yours, a corpo? Engineering type? That fits the Voodoo's typical target profile. Mm-hmm. Either help with the hacking or get hacked, huh? What's the angle there? The voodoos get their hands on old military tech. They want to dust it off, get it running. Which means they need experts to reverse engineer it. You can't just find this stuff lying around the streets. No. But you can beneath them. Dogtown was built on an old Militech bunker complex. Why do you think they built that wall? It started as a secret military project back in the 20s. A total failure. Militech cut their losses and filled it with quicklime. But some persistent groups have managed to scavenge the labs, even today. Still missing the why. They want to open a museum, sell tickets? Mm, there are plenty of people willing to pay good money for old hardware. Developing countries rarely see better than bootleg corp tech. A lot of buyers might not even realize the Voodoo's product is outdated or even obsolete. Smashed a few bots along the way. Those old military models? Mm-hmm. And the Voodoo boys won't be happy to lose them. But they do have more. Give me a chance. Do you realize how many more people you can save this way? I have reports of victims all along the coast. Milko is only one of the runners working for the Voodoo Boys. As soon as I find the head behind the operation, I can chop it off and end this for good. I need Milko. His death alone won't change anything. Understand? How can you be sure that'll work? Because I'm a professional. Just like you. The difference is, I intend to restore order. Whereas you offer only more chaos. Think he cares about those poor saps the voodoo boys are hacking? Last thing on his mind. Company men do it, like him, right? all the same. Just out to be the next fake smiling employee of the month. Guess you'll have to manage without Melko. Do not do this.
V, V, V. Do you know why I enjoy working with you? I don't have to tell you twice what needs doing. Our client can rest easy now. Job done. Transfer sent. Contract closed. Carnalito. Hey, V! It's Blue Moon from Us Cracks. You know, the band? All of Night City knows you. What's cracking? I've got a problem. I... Wait, you mean you're not calling me to ask me to be your backup dancer? <laughs> Just kidding. What can I do you for? It's about a fan of mine. The, um, the weirder variety. I've been getting death threats. A lot of them. All sent to my private address. I'm also being followed. I can't just wait around until something bad happens. We have to find him and, and deal with him. I don't know how much you charge, V, but I'm prepared to pay whatever the cost. Believe me. Our guy. You know anything about him? Nothing. Only that he signs his letters GC. Huh. Not much to go on. It's a clue nonetheless. How do you know the threat's real, and not just a joke in poor taste? V! That last letter I got was a bomb. Security got to it first, of course, but... <sighs> you see what I'm dealing with? Uh-huh. Doesn't get more real than that. Well, can't your bandmates do anything about it? You seem like a bunch of girls who can take care of themselves. V, I don't even know what this guy looks like. We need to catch him in the act. Like, quietly. As for us, you said it yourself. The whole city knows our faces. Happy to help out. Oh, Carrie was right. You're like super chill. So, I've got a plan. I'll go for a little stroll by Kabuki Roundabout while you hang back. Watch out for any signs of trouble. You catch something suspicious, like you see the guy, and you're a hundred percent sure it's him. I'll know what to do. No, no, wait. We're not 
killing anyone here. That would be bad for the band's, like, PR and stuff. All we want to do is teach him a lesson. All right, whatever. You make the rules. Awesome! So, just go to Kabuki, sit on the bench, and wait for me. I'll come to you. Ah! Uh. Man down! Get 
you shooting up the place? I almost feel sorry for them. Almost. Let me guess. Zeta take higher. I think I know why you're here. Let me guess right back. Want me to rescue you? No, no. The prototype. And its schematics. Correct? They might have locked me up, but I kept the signal pinging from my prototype. I knew the Corp would send someone eventually. Uh-huh, cute. Now the short version. Who are you? Hassan Demir, Zeta Tech Engineer. Only survivor of the SCAF ambush. Even for SCAVs, jumping a Corpo convoy is next level gonkery. Something's off here. It was an undercover operation. Minimal security, maximum secrecy. So the SCAVs randomly ambushed you? <laughs> nah, no way. Someone rat you out? Sell the product? Sell out the client? Look, I don't fucking know. We'll cross that bridge later. Can you just get me out of here? Sole survivor, huh? Mercy's not in the scavs, M.O. Gotta have something they want. Hmm, you could say that. What they need is my implant. And that, my friend, is priceless. Wait, wait. Tell me you planted that tech in your own damn skull. Well, I figured it was the safest way. The border control scans don't recognize unreleased tech. In retrospect, it does seem, uh, rather foolish. Then again, it bought me a few hours of life. We're a package deal, the prototype and I. You won't get it while I'm here, withering away. More luck than sense, this one. How gog you gotta be to chip yourself with prototype tech. No offense, V. Of course, unless Zeta Tech forced him into it, made a guinea pig out of it. Prototech's capricious, erratic. For a Zeta Tech engineer, sure took a big gamble planting that thing. Indeed, a gamble. Yet the alternative was far more dangerous. Right. And Big Daddy Zeta Tech? All cool with letting some Dogtown Ripper fuck around with Papa's priceless prototype? Papa was not informed of the decision. Now, can we please take this conversation outside? Why all the drama over some measly implant? Some implant? Measly? Please, this design is a potential Kiroshi buster. <clears throat> we at the firm learned some Santo Domingo riffraff stole it from Arasaka Industrial Park. Naturally, we investigated. I was to conclude the sale at the stadium. Hush hush, not so much as a beep on Arasaka's radar. And well, here I am. Not here to rescue hostages. Look, if you want the implant, you need to take me to a Ripper. Extracting it is a delicate process. Prototype's all I need. Its condition? Whole nother gig. That still leaves the schematics. Listen, I can show you where they're holding them. Fine, fine, let's get you out of here. Wonderful. I knew we'd come to an understanding. Yeah, now to crack open this door. Bypass the security. If you can't, the guard room's nearby. Maybe they have a passcode. Right, back in a nanosec.
I see Zeta Tech spared no expense in hiring a real professional. Now your time to shine. How do you know where these schema docs are at? Their workshop. The scavs took me there, forced me to remove the security protocols on the tech they'd swiped. Uh huh. Lead the way then. And no gonk moves. Jesus, is that... Harry? The man was a real prick, but this... It's barbaric. I suppose this would have been my fiery grave if you hadn't shown up. Burned at Zeta Tech. Nearly burned here. Ah... Right, right. This is it. It's got to be here. Somewhere. Found it! Freem, got it. Stick close. We'll get you out of here. Wait. I heard you slaughtering them. Which means so did half of Longshore. This place is about to be swarming with scavs. You got an idea? Let's hear it. The drawbridge. I've seen the scavs use it. I suppose it's their emergency exit from the scraper will vanish before they realize. Little to no risk. See? Not as burdensome as you thought I was. It's time we were on our way. Couple more steps. Keeping it quiet. Out of sight, out of harm. If they don't spot us, we'll be just fine. Come on, Hassan. Keep it together. Now to disable the bridge. Better not have scavs on our backs, no? Huh! Wow. We're in line about being an engineer, huh? Hey, as long as it stops working. Should be safe here. Ah, I owe you one, truly. It was getting quite ugly back there. Sure thing. Not like I'm leaving empty handed, right? Well, uh, I suppose I can take it from here. I'll tell my superiors you did one hell of a job. Oh, no, no, no. You'll sit tight while I call my fixer, grab some transport. Sure, he'll want to handle the prototype personally. No, no, wait. I, uh... I can't go back to Zeta Tech. You know what? Getting on my nerves now, Chum. You get one answer. What the fuck's your deal? And my deal, uh... Uh... I don't intend to return to Zeta Tech. I plan to grab the prototype and vanish into Dogtown. I had a buyer. I was waiting on the signal to run. Then the scavs attacked and everything went to shit. Going back, it... It would be a death sentence. How'd you imagine playing a Megacorp? <laughs> Must have had some kind of plan. I did, though I couldn't do it all on my own. I arranged a buyer at Dogtown Stadium. We would have met, were it not for these savages. Buyer could have hazed you, though. True. So I had the prototype implanted. It became my bargaining chip. He knew he couldn't harm me without jeopardizing the tech. 
I was to vanish during the convoy's inspection at the border. I arranged an unmarked car, bribed the guards, but then the ambush, well. Why are you so hell-bent on clipping this tech? Do you even have the faintest idea how much it's worth? Oh, more in your life, right? Ah, I have no family, no friends. I gave my life to the corporation. <sighs> the sacrifices I made. And for what? What life? The bastards stole it. The money from the prototype would have afforded me a fresh start. Shouldn't we be gone? Fucking haze me, Hassan. Put my shit on the line for you. And you want to leave me out to dry? I was in a goddamn scav cage. You would have left if I told you the truth. Maybe, maybe not. But you definitely made a big mistake trying to con me. I fucked up, okay? If I'd known. Please, if you send me back, I'm dead. Newsflash, Choom. Dead already. They'll find you and snuff you before you walk with that tech. Then? I give up. Kill me. I'm not being dramatic. I'd rather die by your hand than their tortures. Okay. You and me. Never met. Our story? Scav's got the schematics. Prototype went AWOL. We clear? You... Really? Yes. Understood. I... Thank you. Now I Delta, you find a big-ass rock, crawl under it. I mean it, Hassan. Zeta Tech gets half a whiff, you're dead. Right. Okay. Sly bastard bamboozled the corp and you in the process. Two nothing for Hassan. But I got a feeling his luck ain't gonna last. Zeta Tech's paraphernalia. Any issues? Birdie didn't say. Prototype wasn't around. Got the schematics, though. That an issue? It's certainly a snag. Zeta Tech will not be thrilled, but I suppose that's my cross to bear. Transferring your compensation now. Hey, oh, hang on a sec, Hans. Remember our deal? Yes, the Black Sapphire. I have an entry strategy for you. Foolproof. Beat me at the heavy hearts. Okay, be there soon.
Hey, you there! This is a nice place, so play nice, hear me? Got up! Let's get back to work now. Okay? Okay. Ah, if it isn't V. V, my favorite merc. Splendid. What you completed for me significantly shifted the playing field vis-a-vis -vis Hansen. Excellent work, precisely as requested. Come on, Hans. Flattery, really? Seems a little beneath you. An overused tactic. Agreed. Unnecessary. No, V, this is strictly business. For those who do their work well, praise is a mere restating of the facts. Maybe the one thing I didn't expect, to see the man behind the hollow curtain. The elusive Mr. Hands in the flesh. Despite some setbacks, you retrieve the Zeta Tech blueprints. Making impossible decisions under immense pressure. An invaluable skill that few possess. You have proven to be a person I can trust. Hence my decision to drop the veil and meet in person. A rare occurrence, I assure you. Were I to have more virtuosos like you, I wager I'd have more than Dogtown in my grasp. Dogtown. Pacifica, then I'd line up the rest, snort, and it'll be done. Working with bona fide professionals, positively a treat. Gigs you had me do. How will they solve your Hansen sitch? Take a boxer. He can't knock out his opponent. What then? He goes to work on the body. Once his adversary's stamina wanes, he looks for his opening, connects fists with jaw. I know it may not seem all that clear from where you stand, but the gigs you have completed will allow me to audaciously shift some of the pawns and figures on the chessboard that is Dogtown. Checkmate is but a few moves away. Take it you prefer Dogtown with no Hansen at the helm. Hansen wields much power, greedily so. He's also clever. These traits I tolerate, even value, when occurring in isolation. But all at once, no. Especially not in one who grips an entire district in the palm of his hand. It makes business... trying. Interest you in some tea? It's my own blend. Sure, why not? So, how did this combat zone become Docktown? Do you know? Heard this and that. Something to do with the war? 2069. Colonel Hansen led an operation colorfully called Midnight Storm. The objective? To occupy this combat zone and establish an NUSA staging ground in Night City. Soon after, the sides agreed to a ceasefire. Hansen's force was left to fend for itself. Headquarters, the public, everyone feigned ignorance, pretending Hansen and company were never here. But our good colonel decided to put down roots. 
he declared this combat zone an NUSA territory. In our terms, he carved out an enclave for himself and went from soldier to arms dealer overnight. Marooned he was. Two weeks for a bullet to reach his brain, everyone thought. But his brain remained intact, and he became a force to be reckoned with. A man whose existence is a threat to many is a dangerous man indeed. It's all well and good chit-chatting, but what about our deal? Did my part, time you did yours. Ah, indeed, yes. The Black Sapphire, Hanson Stronghold, guarded by elite soldiers. Military quarters are situated on lower levels, while top floors are a decadent haven for the ultra-rich. The building's blueprint was not easily procured, I should say. Hanson guards his hotel secrets as if they were an embarrassing rectal itch. But, given a will, ways are usually found. You help a client of mine, they reciprocate, and I gain latitude. Quid pro quo in full effect. The building plans are yours. I'll even throw in vulnerabilities to watch for, a token of my appreciation. And, though this goes without saying, the data, its source, are completely secure. No one knows you have it. Data leaks, or lack thereof, are the difference between myself and, say, the late Mr. Deshawn. The Shard, Black Sapphire Info and Blueprints, all nooks and crannies. I trust it's all you need to waltz in and perform your planned pirouettes. Yet a word of caution. Even fully prepared, you'll be marching into a pit full of vipers. Watch your step. Thanks, Hens. I only hope this won't mark the end of our collaboration. Truth be told, a few new assignments seem imminent. Let me guess. More local political gaming? Activity is abundant in Dogtown, and behind closed doors, plots and schemes. Should change ever occur, as it inevitably must, someone really ought to pave the way for a smooth transition. Be looking forward to those new gigs, then. You will hear from me soon. This, I guarantee you. And V, whatever happens at the Black Sapphire, make sure you come back alive, hmm? You're going where local and international politics mix. Strong currents, both. Make sure to plant my feet firmly, then. Later, hands. Shard from hands. Our golden ticket into the Black Sapphire. Perfect. Thank you. No worries. This connection is secure.
the data shard from Hans. Our golden ticket into the Black Sapphire. Perfect. Send to. No worries. This connection's secure. Catch. It's on its way. And reception complete. I'll pass it on to Alex. And as soon as you're ready, join us at the Moth. If I'm not there when you arrive, just wait. Till then. the relic? Gets worse every day. Time I have left's evaporating quick. You experience them often? These attacks? Don't really keep count, but never know if the next one won't be my last. Wow. Rough. No shit. Death's breathing down my neck, always. I know what that feels like. Being a dead man walking? Exactly. I never talked about this, you know. I should be saying they tried to kill me. But sometimes, it feels like they actually succeeded. Tell me more. Ambush. Attempt on my life seven years back. Yeah, you said. What exactly happened there, Reed? I landed in the ICU. Why I waited for some Arasaka goon to come finish me off. I was betrayed. By our people. The FIA. I say betrayed. But I was sold out. Part of a deal. A peace offering. My head on a silver platter. All for a ceasefire. Peace comes at a price. Someone's always gotta pay it. Come on. I'm gonna show you something. They set you up, yet here you are working for him again. Even deep wounds stop hurting eventually, scar over. A few years on, they're just a niche. Let's go.
Let's ride down. Where are we headed? On a little trip down memory lane to see some old junk. I still can't believe Alex decided the best place for a bar was right over our old safe house. She's always had a twisted sense of humor. Where's she at? Waiting downstairs? She's finishing up recon in town. We should make ourselves at home until she gets back. Been dark for seven years, this place. Let's brighten things up again. The end of any war is never pretty. Both sides race to tie up loose ends. A car bomb blew up one of my crew. Another was poisoned. A third got shot in the back of the head while buying a pack of smokes. A couple others just vanished without a trace. Every night we waited for Arasaka agents to come finish us off. I had to make a choice. I chose to dig our heels in. I thought we still had a fighting chance. It was bold. It was stupid. A mix of both. Maybe I just didn't know how to walk away. Let it rest. Or maybe I don't know how to lose. Either way, we managed to save a few more agents. The price for that was yours truly. Say what you want, but sounds like they stabbed you in the back, plain and simple. Saving many of my people in the process. You play grown-up games, you face grown-up consequences. Funny. Out of everyone. It was Songbird they asked to pull the trigger. Wait. Yeah. <laughs> pull the trigger, as in literally took out her iron and shot you. Not personally, but she unlocked the door for those who came and did. I was leaving the city, heading home. Songbird was still here. In this very room, in fact. It was guiding me on comms. Led me straight into a trap. Neutralizing me. The last assignment in Night City. Then she got a ticket home. And you're now trying to save her. Why? Because it's the right thing to do. I had plenty of time to examine this under a microscope. Under focus, some things sharpen, others blur. But there comes a point when you just cut through the bullshit and see what's in front of you. Songbird is still my people, and nothing can change that. Fuck, Reed. Now, my ears is a whole nother story. But Songbird, no. I got nothing against her. So why Myers? I miss anything? Some reminiscing. So good. Let's get this show going. I checked up on Slider's contention. Fucking had it right, it turns out. I dove into old mission files wherever Somi was involved. They were buried deep, near impossible to access, even with my clearance. Each and every one, the Blackwall. All authorizations, mission orders, personally signed by one person, Rosalind Myers. Wouldn't want to be in her shoes if that shit floats to the top. The NUS is a small country governed by a woman with highly ambitious goals. Sometimes those ambitions went out of reason. But that's not something we need to pour over now. Alex, what do you have for us? Oh, a little of this, little of that. 
We'll plan in a sec. Say, V. Like playing fancy dress up? Of course. Who doesn't? Mm, then you'll like what I whipped up. Managed to learn that some pop megastar is gonna grace the party with a show. Guest list? Expect everybody who's anybody. That includes you. Gonna don fancy outfits and rub shoulders with VIPs. Be warned though, fancy doesn't mean easy. Ready for the deeds, V? Let me hear him. Black Sapphire, the most heavily guarded place in Dogtown. Doesn't mean security's airtight, though. V, you're gonna enter through a flooded tunnel system. Got a top-of-the-line diving suit, ought to fit you snug as a glove. Water's maybe a little super toxic. So yeah, be careful. Toxic how, exactly? Hmm, from suspect waste, some sewage leak too. Don't worry, suit's pissing shit-proof. Already know what the hotel looks like. Really, really hard to miss. Flooded tunnels here. That's your way inside. Now focus. You'll reach a terminal at the end. Jack in and breach the cans, giving Reed his window to slip into the building. You'll take different elevators up, here. Saul will open a passage to his side. For you ask, yeah, it's the only way. Area could be heavily guarded, so you'll have to be on your tippy toes. Couldn't get clean intel, so you'll just have to be creative. Improvise. You're gonna meet here. Soon as you meet up, you'll doll up like it's prom night and go to the ball. That's where you'll rendezvous with Songbird. All clear? Okay. How we getting in again? You're swimming in through flooded tunnels. Reed will take the high road after you let him inside. Sound good? Yep. Prem. Okay, let's talk gear. Take your time. Grab anything you think might be useful. A surprise awaits you in the box. This your iron? Sure is. Her Majesty's been itching to return to active duty. It'd be an honor. That reminds me. Hands. What did he want in return for the favor he did us? Got an invisible war going on in Dogtown. Hanson against anyone who wants a slice of the pie. And sees an opportunity, wants my help in exploiting it. Politics. It's the same shit wherever you go. You know, if not for you, we'd have no way of getting into the Black Sapphire reaching Sunburn. It's good to have you on our side. I mean that, V. That it? We set? I believe we are. I'll hang back a while, and then meet you there. Place stinks of memories, huh? A little dusty, but well preserved. What are we gonna do with it once I'm on the Riviera? Gonna lock yourself in here, fondle all this old dead tech till your balls shrivel up? Burn it to the ground's what we'll do. And never come back. Now that I like. <laughs> 